go to the broker shack and buy everything. Some ha, found you. Of course, there's more necromancers. Where I want to go. There. Sorry, Inigo. This is the broker shack. Oh, hey, broker. This place you got here. All sorts of interesting stuff. I think she's a necromancer as well. Um, there is she. Yes, let's talk. Hmm. Who's there? Come closer, my dear. These eyes are not what they once were. Ah, it is you. I could sense it from the moment you arrived. Power. Will. Purpose. Are you the broker? Yes, my dear. It was I who sent you that letter. And now here you are, seeking rare things. Powerful things. Things I think others will not provide. Yes, there are several things that I need. Of course there are, my dear. That is why you are here. Eyes are not the only way through which one can see. There are many things that you need, <coughs> and I can provide them. For a price, of course. Who are you? I am a simple merchant, my dear. The Great War made very particular commodities far more profitable than they had been in quite some time. Cyrodiil became a bloodbath, and for those of our vocation, a treasure trove worth far more than the vaults of any king on Tamriel. Well, let's just say that the bartering of souls and other things sustained us for quite some time, my dear. What do you know about necromancy? There are not many who look favorably upon our artistry in these latter days, least of all in Skyrim. But as it was in the old days, beneath the King of Worms, ours is the pathway to many powers beyond the reach of lesser mortals. That is why those of the Mages Guild hated and feared us. That is why the magic of death still drives the wills of many, even centuries after its patron has fallen into silence. What do you know about the King of Worms? The patron of all necromancers, Manny Marco, the King of Worms. There are still fools who believe he was destroyed two hundred years ago, but we know better. Don't we, my dear? Living death is not so easily killed, much less a god. A god? They say that he ascended to the stars, and that the King of Worms watches over us still, when the necromancer's moon is no longer hidden. Of course, there are few now left who show the proper devotion after so long a silence. What can you tell me about the Mages Guild? The Mages Guild cared more about their bureaucracy than the study of magic. And oh, how they whined like jealous little children at our own work. How the Worm King would laugh to see them now. The mighty Mages Guild scattered to the wind, with only the sordid bickering of lesser wizards and their politics. It's almost as if they never left at all. What about the Synod in the College of Whispers? The College of Whispers dabbles in the necromantic arts, but I doubt they could do more than raise the husk of a weak dead mud crab. For them and the Synod, Magic is just a flimsy charade to woo and impress the Elder Council. 
What is the necromancer's moon? Of course. Forgive an old woman's memory, my dear. There would not be as many altars as there once were. Once every eight nights, the shade of the revenant will shine upon those who pay homage to the Worm King still. And there, with the offering of souls, he gives but a taste of his power. Oh, but you mustn't let me ramble, my dear. You will probably benefit from reading this instead. What is that? Necromancer's good? Necromancer's moon? <coughs> Tell me about the Great War. With so many dead and dying, so much blood spilled wastefully, and both sides willing to ignore previous questionable methods to gain an advantage. It is not surprising that necromancers thrive in times of war and death, is it? Sadly, silly superstitions and ignorance have turned the people against us. Neither the Empire nor the Thalmor will admit, though. Necromancy is, and has always been, a more valuable ally than a foe, especially where death is concerned. What do you got for sale? Oh, I'm sure we'll find what you're looking for. Spire. Hall, laboratory, library, quarters. And that's about it. I think. Tribunal stuff? <laughs> cool. And yeah, that's about it. A pleasure doing business with you, my dear. That was it. I think I bought it before, but still, I'm gonna go. Establish a ritual site is done. Let's go. What am I gonna find here? Probably something my worthwhile. Where's the torch? There is. Well, this place is swanky now. <laughs> it's awesome. It's all... Um, don't do that. It's all decorated now. Probably the broker lived here before, but I'm not sure about that. Let's go up and... Do a ritual, I guess. Craft an elixir. I don't know what I was supposed to do. It'll come to me. Oh, hello. Hello. And low natural lighting. Why do I keep doing that? This is why you become a lich, I think. Well, after you're done, of course. This is a necromatic altar. It's a new thing. It's a skeleton. Ingredients. Enchanting. Soul gems. Everything I need. Let's see, now what's this? Activate. Phylactery. I don't have the item needed. Do we need a... Um... What's it called again? I have no idea, but we're gonna need that ball thing. I don't remember its name. Let's see, now what am I supposed to craft? What's this? Hm, frenzy potion. Okay, I'm supposed to... What do you mean steal? I bought all this shit, what the fuck? Okay, maybe I'm supposed to craft something at the altar. There's a new UI and everything. Black Shroud of Vingold. Elixir of Deflation. I think I need everything. Crush Black Pearl. Solution Magica. I need 3 Nern Root and 5 Moon Sugar. I can just do the Crush Black Pearl. Fine. Black Dye. What the fuck? Oh, I need uh, this thing. Phylactery. Um, I'll be right back with all the stuff I need. So, if you excuse me. That was a shitload of stuff, but I think we got everything. And I mean everything. I think. Okay, we need... Bone meal. We need an extract. We need this elixir. We need this nightshade. We need this solution. We need this, I guess, crushed black pearl. Purified void sauce. Anchor sealed vessel. And I think that's about it. Crush black pearl. 
Are you kidding me? I need another pro now? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay. We got the freaking pearl. Where? Yep, we need one more. And now this. Phylactery. <sighs> Give me that. Construct the phylactery. Complete the, rit the ritual of transcendence. Okay. Where do I put the freaking thing? Oh, hello. There you go. Okay, let's do it. I think I need some kind of spell for this work. Uh, let's see. Is there? Yep, there's unbind soul. Resuscitate, fall, and uncane incantations to bind your soul from your own body for 60 seconds in preparation to your transformation. Got it. Got him. Unbind this bitch. I'm waiting. There it goes. <coughs> Unbind it. And now I think I drink the... Um, what is it? Do, 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 defilation. There we go. That's much better. <coughs> I think it's happening. Let's see. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, did it, did it happen? I don't know, I'm burning. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Undead gained. I think we're done. Done with the mod. Let's go have some fun with this. What are you gonna do, you ask? Well, I'm gonna become a lich and kill everything in here. I'm warning you. Back off. <laughs> You're warning me, but I don't care. Looky here. here. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. If I were you, my friend here Whoa now. Whoa. I could do this all day. Do this all day as well. The new lich form is twice as powerful or maybe ten times as powerful as a normal necromancer. Until my magic runs out, you ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna throw you off this cliff. Or somewhere. I'm gonna throw you in the air. I hope you die. <laughs> hey, Lalesh can do a lot more things, but um, in your state, you're kind of a knockoff dragon priest or something. Uh, yeah. This form will be forgotten, I guess, but thanks for much watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and drop me a comment. It's greatly appreciated if you do. So, yeah. Peace out, and until next time, for the next Skyrim mod. See ya.